welcome on board Mr. Rajiv Ratan, the chairman, and Anjali Ratan Nashir, the chairperson at Ratan India Group as well. Um, good afternoon. Thank you so much for making time and speaking with us. Let me first come to you, Rajiv, because your company has been known for being, let's say, in the power and infrastructure business traditionally. Uh, why the foray into drone manufacturing and fintech now, and what's the scale up plan as far as these verticals are concerned? Uh, thanks for this. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, let me briefly uh, talk you through uh, where we are today and why we are. So the Ratan India Enterprises was a hold core to the power company, Ratan India Power, which is a separate listed company. Uh, Ratan India Power had some linkages with this company, which were delinked in 2019. So uh, come 2020, uh, uh, we had the listed company and uh, we uh, thought about uh, our uh, strategies for future. So to, as of today, uh, this company is into newer businesses and historically this company also had never been by itself into power business because that business is housed in our other company. Uh, so uh, we thought about our strategies, uh, which uh, Anjali, uh, can you please explain? Yeah, so the philosophy uh, on our uh, new age businesses is uh, that uh, we are uh, we want to be ESG compliant in all our businesses. Uh, that is direct to customer engagement as well and staying away from debt heavy businesses with a low capex, clean tech focus and rapid, uh, rapid scalability and aiming to be amongst the leaders in the market. Okay. So uh, we have four new businesses under this. Uh, we have uh, electric mobility, drones, uh, uh, FinTech and uh, uh, e-commerce. So uh, I'll talk about uh, briefly about fintech and uh, e-commerce. So e-commerce, uh, as you know, is a, we are at tip of the iceberg in, a, in the e-commerce retail markets. Uh, we have our 100% owned subsidiary, Coco Blue, is a, is a big seller. Uh, we've sold, uh, uh, we started this business in February of 2022, and uh, uh, there has been a massive scale up. We've sold 25 lakh shoes. We've sold 52 lakhs wireless accessories, 24 lakh books. Uh, 9 lakh apparels, 24 lakh office stationery. Uh, our uh, run rate today in Coco Blue is 5,000 crores. And uh, uh, as we move forward, we will be uh, 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 helping our partners. There are 600 of them across the country, helping them export. Uh, we are uh, going to be coming out with uh, private labels and uh, uh, in our uh, uh, other company, Neo Brands, which is also an e-commerce company, 100% owned subsidiary. Sure. Uh, so uh, uh, this business is housed in Bangalore. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, coming to FinTech, uh, their, uh, uh, our business is to use uh, lenders balance sheet. We have 30 partners, top banks and NBFCs. So we connect uh, customers to them and there is a real time approval process a technology integration with right. each bank about uh, 3 to 4 months time uh, so the, we are not having any of our capital at risk we are uh, what we are facilitating is a uh, very easy quick approval right. for the customers and uh, for uh, revolt sure, and no uh, point taken uh, raji what i'm trying to understand is a with respect to uh, the funding of all of these new businesses because what i understand from what you're telling us is it's more of a bit of an incubator model where you're looking at different businesses and that's expected to scale up could you talk to us about what a the capital expenditure or the investment plan is in each of these businesses and secondly with respect to your revenue profile how will that shape up over the course of next two to three years See, uh, all these uh, businesses have been uh, started with the, the uh, funds from the fr promoter family, which is us. And uh, uh, we have come to a stage where uh, uh, significant revenues have started flowing in in all the businesses. And the, while this is new age, but not like a typical new age where, uh, you know, uh, uh, founders uh, ownership is uh, uh, very little we own uh, uh, 74 plus uh, percent in the in the company and we have rolled out uh, these businesses with significant investments from our side and uh, going forward uh, as the businesses scale up uh, and stand uh, uh, become bigger we may look at uh, raising capital at uh, hold co level or even at the business level and uh, as as we move forward, uh, so uh, significant amounts of revenues will kick in from our uh, electric mobility business and uh, uh, followed by uh, drones as well as fintech. 
all right uh, so also you know just wanted to uh, you know try and understand media reports are suggesting that the company will be in full control of reward uh, in intel corp what is the process of this what is the progress on this acquisition and how are the demand trends client confidence over there uh, see the deal closure is underway and we hope to close it very soon uh, what is important that we have 100% owned the electric uh, mobility business and uh, we'll be sending uh, relevant disclosures upon conclusion of the deal sure um just rajiv just uh, scratching that point forward because you talked about how you might look at raising capital from uh, the markets as well given the fact that you're already around 75% stake as far as the shareholding pattern goes what's the timeline for that and what's the what's the pivoting point are you looking at a specific let's say revenue profile when you will go uh, to the market with more capital requirement is there a uh, is there an investment plan in mind like what's the decision making likely to be see uh, these are uh, uh, fast evolving businesses with high growth and um, uh, we are uh, constantly uh, uh, looking at uh, ways to grow and um, uh, all uh, options are in front of us uh, at relevant time uh, we will uh, announce uh, uh, you know whatever is the best for the business uh, and of course uh, looking at uh, the specific condition for a particular business if it's a business level transaction uh, so as of now all i'm saying is that today uh, all the businesses are well capitalized we don't need uh, immediate capital uh, so that is uh, 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 my point was that going into the future because we are listed so uh, we have the option right uh, thank you so much uh, for taking our time for us telling us about your company always good to get perspective